Hello all, my name is Sakil Ansari and I am a data scientist. Today in this video, I am going to explain how to find the correlation between two categorical features. So let's start. So in categoric feature, there is, a, there is no concept of, of correlation. So in categorical feature, correlation is called as association. So we need to find the association between two categorical features. So there is a technique called Kramer's rule, Kramer's V, which is based on Pearson chi square test. So like correlation, uh, the, the range of uh, Kramer's V is between zero and one. Zero means there is no any association uh, between two categorical features. And one means two categorical features are highly correlated. So in Kramer's B, there is no negative value. Means there is no any concept of negative association in categorical features. Now let's start implementation. So here I am importing, uh, you can see here, here I am importing the necessary uh, libraries like uh, NumPy, Panda, Sci-Fi, G1, Matplotly. And here I have taken an uh, open source data set, studentperformance.csv from Kaggle. So here I'm reading the data. Here I'm displaying top five data raw record of the data. Now here I'm taking the shape. So there are thousand records. Uh, here I'm checking where there are any null values or not in the data set. Now here I'm filtering the categorical features. So you can see here gender, race, parental level of education, lunch, these are uh, categorical features. So I am uh, keeping in one data frame, tips and therefore categorical, yes. So now here uh, I have created one function, Kramer's V function, which return a value between two Categorical feature. So you can see here I am passing two features variable one and variable two. So now here, as I mentioned, uh, like uh, from here I will get only one value, but uh, uh, I want to keep uh, these va all values in a matrix form. For that, I have created one uh, list and I am appending all the values in that particular list. So you can see here. Mm, uh, you can see here I have a dot append, and after that uh, I am creating one data frame df where I am passing this Kramer's result, and also I am uh, like I am giving the uh, names of uh, categorical features uh, in the uh, header and in the index part as you can see. So when, when I am clicking this, so now you can see here, yes, and here I am simply. Uh, creating heat map. So as you know, right? So uh, I have used C1 uh, library. So you can see here, yes, and heat map and getting data is equal to D up, annotate is equal to annotate, and here plot dot. So if I will execute this. So you can see here uh, the heat map between the categorical features. So this is very important technique. If we have lots of categorical features, then we can use this technique and we can uh, use this technique as a feature selection as we, we are doing uh, for numerical uh, features uh, by using um, Pearson correlation technique. In the same way, we can use Kramer's V technique uh, to, to, for the feature selection of uh, categorical features. Thank you and happy learning.